I pleasant good evening to you all. Now I have the host of tonight, Mr. Patrick Thompson. May we give him a round of applause as he approaches the stage? Um, the first event on the program is the Invocation by, I believe, Mr. Devon Brown. So, Pastor, you could all rise as he starts us off in a word of prayer. Father in heaven, we thank you this afternoon for your goodness, for your grace, and for your mercies. For bringing us here, Lord, to celebrate this literary event. Mighty God, we thank you for our guests that have traveled far and wide to be with us. Lord, bless every person that is present. Lord, we thank you even now for the participants, Lord, and may the best poet win. Father, we bless the food, the Lord, it may nourish our bodies, and mighty God, there will be no sickness and diseases. But most of all, Lord, let us enjoy ourselves. We thank you, Lord, for the person who conceived this idea and the persons who brought it together, for it's a milestone and an achievement for us all. Mighty God, bless the rest of this evening proceedings as we give you thanks, Lord, and we give you praise. In Jesus' name, amen. Uh, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Um, please remain upstanding for the national anthem. I understand it will be an instrumental rendition. We could jump straight into the territorial song. I believe it requires the same treatment as the national anthem. So I'll call Miss Shaquilla Hanley and Mr. Ramon George um, to perform that territorial song for us. Out of the hut of history, Spain, our ancestors bled and died. But with strength and will power, we overcame to restore the Virgin Islands pride, to preserve the beauty we devise a plan, to obtain on a ship of this precious land. Educating our people is the golden key to maintain our success of this territory. And oh, how ready and high our daughters, and now wealthy are your sons. And your beaches boast your beauty. And your success is second to none. And green and brilliant are your hillsides. They replenish our hopes and pride. Oh, beautiful Virgin Islands, your quality can never be denied and may god richly bless this territory may we actually things of thee encourage for our great leaders that they may rule our destiny we ask for wisdom for our people that they may live in harmony and understanding for our children that they may cherish this legacy. And oh, how radiant are your daughters, and how wealthy are your sons. And your beaches boast your beauty, and your success is second to none. And green and brilliant, all your hillsides, they replenish our hopes and pride. Oh, beautiful Virgin Islands, your qualities can never be denied. And oh, beautiful Virgin Islands, your 
qualities can never be denied. Wow. Thank you so much, Miss um, Hanley and Mr. George. Please have your seats. Thank you. I think you'll be sitting for a little while longer anyways. Um, that's just a sampling of the talent that is on display, and I believe we next have Mr. Wakima Letsum, the gentleman who did the welcome. This rendition is called Balsam God is a Place. Balsam God is a place of hopes and dreams, but nothing ever comes true, it seems. Here comes Mr. Vaughn God with his crazy teams. Intelligence, intelligence, what are the inmates scheme? A tit, a tat, a tit. A tot is the inmate's plot. A crazy decree, he puts a trot. A clip, a crop. A clip, a crop. The boots of the government not. Inmates, inmates, approach your gates. A crazy decree I have for thee. Grab your papers and pen. A literacy night on you, it depends. Bring your expressions of words that blend. Show the BVI this facility has inmates that can contend with even the protocol that attends. A tick, a tap, a tick, a tap. Mr. Vaughan protocol, don't be alarmed. Words can calm any storm. They can even invoke a placid lake to a raging, a raging fate. Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much, Mr. Letsub, for that wonderful icebreaker. And like I say, it's only a sample of what is to come. I believe we'll have an introduction next by Mr. Jess Roy McKelly. Greetings to all that has come to Her Majesty's prison from near and far to support us inmates in this literary event. Thanks to the superintendent, Mr. Vaughngard, for merging this studious ethic to the spheres of our academic environment. So make way for today. The Lord will make stars come out in the day. And the declaration will go on without delay. No matter what no one wants to say, it's okay. Rehabilitation is an opportunity that gives preparation for education and helps us build a firm foundation and align unification by using multi-social integration to create a bigger and better institution. So as you sit and stare, I can feel the stigma in the atmosphere, ladies and gentlemen, but have no fear, Mr. Captain Metamorphosis is here. Yes, I was strange and deranged. But God made me extravagant like a gem, saying prayers that end with amen. Now in everything I do, I let the omnipotent set the trend, the essence, even in my pen. My frame is the temple of his divine grace. That's why when I look in the mirror, I see his face. So I let him take me to a sacred place where he dispenses living medicine in my roots and told me to wear his boots. When I checked the brand, it stated, living proof. And he said, now go and preach the truth so you can blow the roofs off the wicked so they can get showers of blessings. Truly amazing. Truly, truly amazing. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> It's, it's not often that I'm at a loss for words, but that was, that was amazing. Truly, truly amazing. I, I wanted to just focus on two things, though, that he said. One, he called himself Captain Metamorphosis, and that is a very apt term. For those who've known Mr. McKelly for a long time, he has metamorphed, I would say, in the time since I've met him till the current date. He truly is Captain Metamorphosis. <laughs> truly, truly, truly. And that's only a sample of what is to come, because apparently he will return with another poem shortly. But before we get to him, we have Mr. Andrew Milton to perform and share a poem entitled The Power of Love. My name is Andrew Milton. I'm just here to just do a little exhibition poem for the moment. You check. My poem is entitled The Power of Love. And love is a very important thing. I think everybody in the world needs, and it makes the place a better place. You understand? Yeah. The power of love. The power of love is so unique and distinguished. So emotionally packed with force. I want to know what the mixture in this. The recipe is unusual and the taste is far more better than a king's dish. Love is wonderful and it's great. And love never make a mistake. It cannot be seen or heard, but deep down we feel by the pain when it hurts. 
or even the joy that it brings to this world. Love is inevitable and by far the greatest of all the rebels. It can't cause over it, so real, it never changed. Love is the world's most expensive gift, but still, it was given free to mankind. It overpowered in so many different ways, and still, it proved itself to be one of a kind. So divine, even in our trying times, love is truth and can be easily affected by force or lie. It can struck and build up with memory. The heart forgive, but the mind never forget. Love of a tolerance with understanding at the size of an enormous avalanche. It plant like a seed and grow like a tree. With roots that could reach to the bottomless sea. So if I ever had a wish, no doubt what it will be. For everyone to share love and the people to be free by the power of love. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Mr. Milton, for sharing that with us as well. And this is only a sampling of what is yet to come. Um, we have a treat because apparently Mr. McKelly is going to share another piece with us. Next depiction is titled, Poetry. Poetry is divine terrestrial. Poetry will make you crack a smile. It will make you laugh for a while. Sing or dance to its rhythm like a child. I portray my posture and my nature from my literature, displaying my creativity out of genuine activity. To me, poetry is limitless. She's like the food I... Cor <sighs> God damn. It's like the food I digest. She's like the girl I caressed. Even the birds uses the rhythms of their hearts to build their nest. Because of poetry, I have passed the test. That's why I say poetry is truly the best. Poetry is my game. Poetry should be my name. Poetry is how I sustained. When it comes to poetry, I am never disdained. We next have Mr. Omari Winter to share with us a piece called Mind of a Prisoner. So perhaps he can come and do that now. Let's hear it from Mr. Winter, please. Doing my time. I feel lonely at night. I'm waiting for letters that no one will write. I'm depending on people. I think of my friends, but they fail to come through again and again. It's sitting around with nothing to do, trying to figure out just who is who. I realize that hearts are made of stone, and I'm accepting that I'm all alone. I'm dressed for a visit that will never take place from plastic friends who forgot in my face. Just wondering why time moves so slow and all of my dreams has nowhere to go. I will do my time with my head held high and keeping my pride until the day I die. I will do my time and one day I know that I will be free so I can forget people who forgot me. Excellent, excellent, excellent poetry. Excellent. Um, these books, I'm just going to throw this out there. I dare say some of these things should be put in a book collected and perhaps sold or used for some charitable purpose. It's really excellent stuff. Uh, Mr. Selvin Shinnery will now come and bless us in song with a song called Steps of a Good Man. Blessed is the man that walked not in the council of the ungodly, nor standing in the way of sinners, nor sitting in the city but I'm scornful. But his delight is in Jehovah. And he meditates on him day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the river of water. And his leaves shall not wither. And whatever him do, him shall prosper. The steps of a good man. The steps of a good man. Is adorned by the Lord. He delighted in his way. He delighted in his way. And even if he may fall, he shall not be cast down. For the Lord will lift him up with his mighty, mighty hands. Fret not thyself of evil doers. For they shall be soon cut down Like the grass that grow in your yard Fret not in thyself Of evil doers For they shall be soon cut down The steps of a good man The steps of a good, good man the steps of a good man The steps of a good, good man The steps of a good man 
is honored by the Lord. For if a man say he loved God and hates his brother, he is a liar. For if he can't love his brother whom he have seen, how can he love God whom he have never seen? I was young, now I'm growing old. But the story has always been told. The righteous is not forsaking, nor his seed shall not beg bread. He's ever merciful, ever merciful. So depart from evil to good and dwell forevermore. Fret not thyself of evil doers. For oh, they shall be soon cut down chop, 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 Like the grass that grown on your yard Fret not thyself fret, fret. Of evil doers no For they shall be soon cut down chop, 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 For they shall be soon cut down The steps of a good man The steps of a good, good man the steps of a good man It's hardened by the Lord The steps of a good man The steps of a good, good man The steps of a good man It's hardened by the Lord He that dwell in the sacred place of the Most High Shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty I will say for the Lord, he is my refuge and my strength. In him, I will trust. So stand up and be strong, because with God, you can't go wrong. Make me tell you, me say, God have a plan, a plan for you, a plan for me, a plan for all of we. Remember, there's an opposite to every side. And if you wash your most after rains, so go on, build up a fence And teach your little children Remember there's an opposite to every side And if you wash your most after rinse So go on, build up a fence And teach your little children The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want He make me to lie down in green pastures he lead me beside the still waters. He restore my soul. He lead me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yeah, though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemy. You anointed my head with oil, my cup running to over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever peace and love excellent excellent uh, ladies and gentlemen we'll now have an intermission with performances by first Mr. Kenyatta Boynes and then by Mr. Junior Bradford Prince and then I think we'll jump into the presentation of the um, the seven different bits of poetry you're going to hear and which our distinguished judges will have to decide which among those seven um, is the winner. So perhaps I can first call Mr. Kenyatta Boynes. Yeah, this one is a tune called SOSO. Listen to the words close, okay? Even my close friends in whom who I trusted, trusted who ate, ate my bread, bread, has lifted a heel against me. But, but you will Lord be gracious, gracious to me and, and raise, raise me up so I may repay them. By this I know that, that you delight in me. I will not, not let, let my enemy shout in triumph over me. me. Yeah. yeah, hope that they see from the sky. We don't paint you head and back. Yeah, vibes. we will rise. Too bad my time, I'm just wasting my time. Feeling this stress, but I'm fine. Up in the hills, my charge don't care be bail. My baby girl likes me, daddy. When you leave in jail, then I exhale. Side, watching the phone, cause I don't know when I'm going home. So I got late. 
Cause if I tell her the truth, I know if they got gonna cry. SOS, somebody save me. Cause they feel like I ought to go crazy. Forget fake friends, I love them don't on their backs. Even up to my young lady, but that don't faze me. What does amaze me? The same people that like I used to trust say that they hate me. Pouring dirt on my name, brainwashing people who rape me. I need saving. Praying to God, hoping that He reply. SOS to the burning fire. Hope that He see you tonight. Fire burn high, yeah. Fire burn high. Hope that He see from the sky. SOS to the burning fire. Someone please save me tonight. SOS. S O S O S Somebody save me from this man. S O S O S Somebody save me from this man. S O S Man in distress, stranded, looking out for miles. Still, I don't see no help. Most of my friends done gone. The rest fighting the hold on. And my kids, they're growing up so fast Taking trips to America, flying, flying in first class. class Somebody help me out Help me out Please, help me out <laughs> I miss my family Watching the TV and kicking it on the couch whoa, oh, oh. I got things to do Got places to go Got to trust in the works of the most high To carry me to, to the, the door S-O-S-O-S-O-S -S -O -S -O -S. See wing Somebody see me e -wing. Remanded IDC 1 and 2 And everybody else Doing my time I'm just wasting my time Feeling this just word I'm fine Up in the hills My charge don't care every day My baby girl asking me daddy When you live in jail Then I exhale Sigh Watching the phone Cause I don't know when I going home So I got light Cause if I tell her the truth I know baby girl gonna cry SOS Somebody save me Cause they feel like I'm about to go crazy Forget big friends I love them jumped on their backs Even up to my own lady But that don't faze me What does amaze me? The same people that like I used to trust Say that they hate me Pouring dirt on my name Brainwashing people who rape me I need saving Praying to God hoping that he reply SOS in the burning fire Hope that he see you tonight Fire burn high Yeah, fire burn high Hope that he see from the sky SOS in a burning fire. Someone please save me tonight. Mary Dan. Somebody say. Mary Dan number two. From this train. Linux. SOS. Ah, Tikinisha. From this train. Yeah. We don't bench through hell and back. But ain't no vibes. Bigging up everybody in the crowd. Just know we will rise. Yeah, and now we're going to get into the business end of our program. We're going to have uh, two rounds, apparently, of poetry. So I'm going to call our first performer, which is Mr. Devon Brown, to share his first piece with us. When the roll is called up yonder, 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 I'll be there. Will you be there? <laughs> Amen. Let me hear somebody say, praise the Lord. Let me hear somebody say, hallelujah. Okay, okay, it's a wonderful afternoon. And the Lord has blessed us. Bountiful blessings he has given unto us. This afternoon, my name is Devon Brown. Some people call me Brother Brown. Some call me Reverend Brown. And this afternoon, I'm here to tell you what the Lord said to me. The Lord visited me last Friday, sometime about 1 a.m. And he said, tell them about me. He said, my name is Yahweh. Tell them about me. You were chosen to go first. To tell them about me. You're not there to compete. But to tell them about me. He said leaders are not leading. The way it ought to be. The hearts have strayed far from me. If they repent now. And turn. I will forgive their sins. When you tell them about me. Don't worry about who. Don't believe. Let them know that heaven and hell is real. 
I love them every day. And in fact, he said, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And that's what you tell them about me. Our next performer is Mr. Andrew Milton. My name is Andrew Milton. And I'm about to say our next poem, which is entitled, You're truly a friend. Serena, you're truly a friend. And it's not because I know if I bury your land, or even if I had a fight, you'll be ready to defend. But what defines truth is the fact that you never pretend. And to see the best out of me, you're always pushing to the extent. Your loyalty is crystal clear. So how could I question it again? When you give no tolerance to my ignorance, and that's what makes you a true friend with a true balance. Because when you offend me, of course, and like dynamite I'm about to explode, with an encouraging word, you calm my nerves, captivating my hunger so I could remain free to this world. And though my friendship was with many, I had never learned to trust many. Deceivers and liars who merchandise to the buyers. Oh yes, I from Judas them emulate, and just like him they transpired because they was not properly attired. Disguising sheep clothes so the wolf will not be exposed. But my true friend, of course, is definitely not one of those. She's real and as pure as a seven seal. Sometimes I even fail to believe, but I am awake, so I know it's not a dream. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Uh, the next piece we'll have is by Mr. Ronaldo Hewlett. All right. Let's hear it from Mr. Hewlett as he comes as well, please. The name of my piece is entitled Fight for Freedom. There is right and there is wrong. One will make you weak, but the other will make you strong. But how do I confirm who I am when I don't even know where I come from? 20, 30, 40 years, and I still don't know? There's got to be something wrong. There's a massive database bursting with data. And everyone says when asked that I'll get back to you later. So don't stop fighting for history, religion, and culture. Right now, we don't have these things, and we seem to lack a future. We have no past, and it's our lives we fight for deep, deep within our spirits, deep to the core. So don't stop fighting. For peace, love, and harmony. And there is supremacy in a Hebrew's chemistry. Oh, truly amazing. Those of us who aren't here, I think we should... Those of us who are here should tell those who should be here, sitting in those empty seats that they missed a treat, because this is only going from better to better. Our next performer is Mr. Royden Sebastian. Let's hear what Mr. Sebastian has in store for us. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Royden Sebastian, and the title of my poem is Mother's Wisdom. I wrote this poem, just laying down in my bed, staring at the ceiling, thinking on all, thinking all I'm telling my mother used to talk to me, check. It goes like this. My mother used to say to me, boy, go to school and learn the golden rule. Instead, I rode with a gangster crew 
and had a smoke or two. She also said, who know here will feel? No, I know how it feels to be surrounded by razor wires and metal bars that are all made of steel. She used to say, monkey see, monkey do. In my youth days, I admired the shadows in my hood. So I rode with them too. She said, out of sight, out of mind. People will forget you when you do a hard time. Out of sight, out of mind. I had a lot of friends. Now they're difficult to find. But prison wasn't so bad after all. Something you raise, something you fall. After the storm, it's always a calm. As one born, as one, as one gone, another one born. But when the grass is cut, the snakes will show. They didn't understand what I meant, and now I know. So who is you to judge me? Who is you to blame? Some sell a soul for money. Some sell a soul for, for fame. Don't you ever sell out for vanity? I mean cars, diamond ring, and gold chain. Some people already sell out to gain. Now they live in regret and pain. I'm glad I'm not a, sick, I, I'm glad I'm not a victim. Some people wish they could say the same. Some people try to, to gain a whole wall, but in the end, it was all in vain. This journey for me is very tough and rugged, and the end is getting there. I just can't wait for my release date so I could get the hell out of here and get my life back in gear. We are truly blessed, ladies and gentlemen, because it's not just the, the poems, but they're varied in tone, in message, in feeling, in mood. There's something to be learned and gained from each one of our performers this afternoon. Um, the judges have their hands full um, deciding, because as far as I'm concerned, they're all winners in my book. Uh, we'll have next, of course, Mr. Jesron McKelly, again, to share us and bless us, no doubt. Greetings once again. This depiction's title, The Living Water. The Living Water purifies me whenever I start to lose enthusiasm. I just take a sip, wash my face, and it surely revitalizes me. It brings back the quality in my spirit and keeps me from falling into oblivion. It's my everyday appetizer as I face and digest circumstances that's incessant and insidious. The word of God quenches my thirst. It is my escapism. It extricates, reinstates, and regenerates me. It's so essential to my existence, I subsist on the substance for breakfast. It fortifies me. Therefore, when I'm spreading the word, my rivals cannot mortify me. It's so potent and tenable, there's no substitute it's my wine, my rum, my dope. The only antidote gives me hope, gives me gold. It's the only code. That's why I say, not because they are my adversaries means I can't be their friends. That's why I turn the left cheek when they slap me in the right. Whenever they deviate from my rights, I just look to my right and says it's all right. At times I wonder, how much inflictions must I endure while I remain servile and subservient to my constrainers? Other times I even felt discontented with life. But as I drank the living water, God showed me some of his faithful disciples, like Job, who was tremendously rewarded. Now I don't feel demoralized, dehumanized when I get treated like a subhuman. Neither am I tempted to display the malevolent origins I derived from. Subman, a savage. Now the only passion I have, it is to stay committed to the word of God and achieving my aims triumphantly. It's a strange, ironic life where deceptions has turned to perceptions. Things and people ain't always as they seem. Sometimes losing is winning, not fighting. The fight is fighting. When your adversaries put you in the lake of fire and see you no longer feeling anguish and behaving as if you're doomed to a life of misery, instead, you're adapting, evolving, and being resourceful, then they relinquish their portentous hold because they see themselves as tenacious as you once was. Makes them feel as if they are looking in the mirror. So don't take things too personal. Just do your best, keep the faith, and by your willpower, you will die soon and learn the power of drinking the living water, which will out the fire they and you have instilled in you. Just like Christ died and was resurrected, whose works was transparent like water, you will see yourselves just like him, walking on grounds of living water and receiving immense wisdom and blessings in your life, more valuable than any nominee, hotep, Ma'at, know thyself, good and happy wishes to all.
Our next performer is Mr. Jerry Martin. Perhaps he can come and share with us. And let's hear it for Jerry as well, please. Yeah. Yeah. First, give thanks to the Most High, Almighty Creator, Supreme God. Amen. Yeah. Well, you don't know my name is Jerry Martin, a.k.a. J. If I go all day, we'll be here, a.k.a., 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 all day. Well, everybody know me. So, my first piece is entitled Reality Check. And this is a real, real serious piece. But I ain't going to stay too long and elaborate. Just listen to the words. I ain't no point. I just try a thing because you ain't got nothing to do in prison. Your mind all over the place. And the best thing to do is put it on a paper, ink, and you never know what it could bring you. Reality Check. As I, as I board UK Air Force to St. Lucia, stress, pain, reality started taking over. I was just in a disaster, hurricane armor, <laughs> being strapped down on a plane, reality started taking over again. Through my mind running, this can't be really happening. <laughs> Suddenly, I woke up from dreaming when I heard the pilot saying, Five minutes to landing. <laughs> Suddenly, the plane landed. I am angry, heartbroken, and dying. No, knowing that I'm not going Lyman. From handcuff to handcuff, I was brought to the light. BCF, I will be spending tonight. Thank you. Excellent, excellent poetry thus far, ladies and gentlemen. I, just allow me to say this. The great thing about poetry is that it's personal to each individual. So you're getting the benefit of seven different individual stories and experiences, which are a real blessing, um, to, which ought to be a real blessing to our hearts in these times. Our last performer is Mr. Jomari Hart. Perhaps I can call him to come now, and let's hear it from Mr. Hart as well, please. My poem is entitled, Transformation. Transforming, transformation, I'm transformed. The change came before me, and still, it's beyond. Everything and everyone, as so it seems, I was creased up and crumpled, now straightened, without the iron and the steam. My bad ways are behind me, there's no looking back. I'm floorboarding the pedal, like I'm in a car on a racetrack. Even people you see transform me using you to catch a float. Those are the people sinking your ships to build up their own boats. No more worrying about my past, cause it's over now. Haven't walked the streets of gold yet, but God has secured my crown. It been worse, it was bad, already better, now at my best. This transformation feel great, I'm a king, no King Kong, but I'll beat at my chest. This transformation is a big change and a step forward, but I'll stay watch my step. There's no sleeping on this transformation, cause I've already slept. It's like me playing a game of chess, sending out the pawns for a sacrifice when me, the king, I invest. It's transformation, already transformed. There's no more transforming. Whatever happened next with this transformation, like poker, I'll go all in. Thank you. Transformation, ladies and gentlemen, transformation. Um, I believe Mr. Hart is the last of our performers for the time being. Um, we will next have an intermission and we'll have a performance by Mr. Junior Bradford Prince. So perhaps he can come now and bless us with that. And then thereafter, I think we'll go into the second round of our performances. So let's hear it for Mr. Prince as he comes, please. First of all, I want to say greetings in the name of the Most High, you know, to everyone in the respectful places. Yeah, the poetry going sweet, right? Everybody enjoying themselves? Yeah, put a little more juice in it right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, DJ. This one was written in jail, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, who the cap fit? Let them wear it. Who the cap fit, let them wear it. They say I'm crazy, crazy. Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> Run it from the top again, DJ. Oh, 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 yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ooh. Who the cap fits? Let them wear it. Who the cap fits? Let them wear it. I fell in jail trying to make myself a hundred tau. Try to do a lot of things to make my mama proud. And now I'm sitting here wondering how to get beyond these gates. I got to do it now. Time waits on no man, you got to say it loud. So you have to do your thing and no follow the crowd. To get good fruits in all the earth, you have to plow. To this wicked dirty system, I know about them. Say I'm crazy, crazy. I know there's lots of people out there hate me. But I don't give a damn if they don't rate me. I just ask them, what have you done for me lately? They say I'm crazy, crazy. I guess I'm too progressive, them can't place me. Was born a true go getter, they don't please me. Born to win so they don't have to praise me. Enough of them going to drop off. Friendship I go lock off. Come like smoking on my lungs, I'm them my make off. Cha cha chase away the wicked, cause them a dry shaft. See them brother fall and all I love. Enough of them, and them I go lift up. When my life is tough, it's pick up. Come the serpent head, I'm go trample and kick up. Give my praise to Jaja, always try to live up. Though the road is rocky, I not give up. Them say I'm crazy. Crazy, I guess a lot of people out there hate me, but I don't give a damn if they don't rate me. I just ask them, What have you done for me lately? They say I'm crazy, crazy. I guess I'm too progressive, them can't place me. With spawn a true go get her, they don't face me. Spawn to win, so you don't have to praise me. So to my brothers in jail, I have to give a word. Stand firm in all yourself and let your voice be heard. Hold on, next. Ah. Hold on to positive and here move forward Don't give up hope on your dreams and your sanity Cause every dream can become a reality Now stop giving your praise unto the almighty Cause only he can set your spirit free They say I'm crazy, crazy I know there's lots of people out there hate me but I don't give a damn if they don't rape me. I just ask them what have you done for me lately? They say I'm crazy, crazy. I guess I'm too progressive, them guy. Yeah. <laughs> Big up on yourself, yeah man. Uh oh, who oh. the cap fits? Wow. Truly amazing, ladies and gentlemen. Truly, truly amazing. <laughs> I think we should make this an annual event. I'll speak to Mr. Gard about this. <laughs> All right, so we've gone through the first round of our presentations, and um, I think it's, it behooves me now to introduce to you the judges who have the task of deciding the winner of this afternoon's event. Um, our three judges are Miss Lavonta Thompson. Our next judge is Miss Jovan Wilson. I hope I pronounced her name right. All right. Thank you. And finally, we have Miss Shari De Castro as well. So I don't envy them the task they have this afternoon to decide who is the winner, <laughs> honestly. All right, so we're going into the second round now of our competition. And our next performer is, again, Mr. Devon Brown to do and share his second bit of poetry with us. I'll ask each performer to say the name of the piece before they perform it for the judge's benefit so they can safely have it when they're tallying their scores. So let's yes, go. one more time, Mr. Brown. One thing I must say about prison, each person gets an opportunity to express themselves. So those of us who are followers of Christ, we are still given the opportunity to have church. Amen? But guess what now? They said, oh, are we crazy? But I want to make you crazy, you know. This afternoon, my second piece is entitled, Sin. Just the other day, down the road, me passing. See some people with placard demonstrating. So I take my first self, go over there, and I ask them, what is happening? Me a woman ball out that just lack of sin. 
And next one shout out. Don't worry about nothing. In boss the devil, soon come bail him. A man call out. Free sin. Sin sweets a till. Even though when it done, it left you with a bitter pill. Over the next side, me see a man that do him thing. So we go over there and me ask him, what is happening? Him say, young man, listen to the thing. You see sin, them fill lock up him. Then the key, eat them for fling. Me no care about sin at all. Sin make even good people fall. Sin is never kind. So take that out of your mind. Sin no care if you're rich or you're poor. Sin knock pa anybody door. It no care if you're asleep drying a big snore. No care about what time it wake you up. I'll quarter past four. Sin no have no class. It no care if you're first, second, third, or last. You see, sin so brazen. He see you a pass and call you. Just a minute, this won't last. You're so foolish, you tap and go listen. All that time, sin teeth them a glisten. Because him catch one more for lock up in a prison. Well, let's have Mr. Andrew Milton again to share his second bit of art with us. I'm about to say my second piece, which is entitled, To You My Respect Is Joe. I'm going to give you the reason why I was motivated to write this poem. I was one of the inmates that went to St. Lucia to spend that year. Right? And it was a very rugged road. But thank God, right? You got man like Mr. God and Sergeant Dean John, which originally I, write this poem, I wrote this poem for you. You understand? But I am dedicated to Mr. Gary right now, which is here, okay? Yeah, as I tell it is entitled, to you my respect is due. I pay you my respect because you have earned it. And even up to my final step, the bridge, I will never burn it. Not because it's a fact that you were conceived to be an officer of integrity, a man of principle and discipline, who has no plan to condone or to uphold but to perform under the restriction of the law, as they were told. I give my gratitude to the fact that you have a human conscience, and with that, you treat us as one of your own. Sincerely, I must say, <laughs> we have nothing in common. Because I am devoted to the streets, and you, you're nothing but a police. A prisoner officer who sees and never allowed the prohibited to be. You search like a tiger, penalize like a chastiser. Making it clear that your kindness has miles away from weakness. Walking straight in the protocol of the institution. Seriously taking those instructions. Separating yourself completely from corruption. But if it is due to you, then I must say, it should be given. Because out of many are the one who see us as a man. And even care to understand. Never abusing your power, but remaining professional by the hour. Not many see life the way you do, but just like you. Miss Joseph is another, and I see her not just as an officer, but also as a mother. But how? How could I respect an officer who take pleasure in disrespect, using us for the substitute of their frustration, and at times, even depriving us from a few recreation, when there is no way you could make sense out of nonsense, and ignorance never come with a suitable profit or any useful benefit. But as for you, you are tremendously different. Giving a respect in exchange to receive the same. I don't know much about you, but what I learned, I'll be honored to return. Because respect will not come by enforcement, but simply to give and collect it back. It works just like the US currency, standing with a value that can be exchanged in any country. Respect comes naturally from the heart. So it's not the way you think it in the mind, but it's the way you give it from the heart. Because we all are humans, so who are we to discriminate? When it's just the ways of our mind and our gender that truly define. We all live by the time and awake to either the rain or sunshine. And whether we are big or small, we are still known to be mankind. The court may accuse and impose, but I am grateful that you choose to be excluded. 
leaving God to be the judge while subjecting herself to the rules. Trying to be fair and honest, not only to the facility, but to everyone under your authority. And this is the main reason why your absence on the Bad Lake facility causes it to be totally dysfunctional, operating under the supervision of incompetence officer. So like the 15th or the 30th of the month, I know it is due. No, I know my Australian man, I just my respect to you. Blessings. Excellent, 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 excellent. Our next performer is, uh, let me just pause, Mr. Mr. Milton recited that entirely out of his head, by the way. <laughs> no paper, no pen, no nothing. Our next performer is Mr. Ronaldo Hewlett, to bless us again for a second time. Let's see what Mr. Hewlett has in store for us. <laughs> Roses are red and violets are blue. Are you going to hell? Do you know if it's true? The night is black, and the day is blue. Do you know God's name? Do you know if it's true? Roses are red, and violets are blue. Are you going to hell? Do you know if it's true? The night is black. And the day is blue. Do you know God's name? Do you know if it's true? Mountains are high and trees breathe air. So I hope you know the consequences when you solemnly swear. I can always see devils once I know air, so why do you think that I know fear? I can always see devils once I know air, so why do you think that I know fear? You can bend light, but you can't bend truth. I will forever be grounded deep within my roots. Our next performer is Mr. Royden Sebastian. Let's see what Mr. Sebastian has for us this time around. Strong. The name of this poem is the name of this poem is, is Street. Some of my past experience and a little wisdom at the same time. In these cold streets, most people stay with the heat. And your life don't work much. The cost is very cheap. You have to keep an eye on the enemy and the friends that you keep. Because these thugs out here are playing, and they're playing to keep. And watch how you speak. They won't hesitate to put you to sleep. And when they mean sleep, I mean six feet deep. Now your parents have to deal with the bills and the funeral receipt. I ain't no punk, and I won't accept defeat. Don't push my button. That button might be delayed. And I ain't trying to go back to jail. I ain't trying to repeat. This street life we live is full of corruption. The system gave me 20 years. It said I was causing too much destruction. The cops are always harassing me, making up assumptions. The usual suspect, false accusation. It's no wonder why I have a bad reputation. This street's life is filled with problem and temptation. That's why some, some people roll a spliff and hold a form of meditation. This life ain't easy. Anxiety and dedication. This life is mad sick crazy, minus the medication. To all the youth out there, 
with the Glock 9s and the extension, please put down the ammunition and find yourself a proper education. Because without education, come temptation. I mean stealing and dealing and sometimes extortion. And the only end result is death or incarceration. Brilliant. Thank you so much, Mr. Sebastian. Our next performer is Mr. Jess Roy McKelly. Let's see what he has in store for us. <laughs> Greetings once again. By all my poems are by my initials. This depiction is titled, Rise. Rise and take first place. Please tie your shoelace. Don't watch no face. Stay on your pace. Victory, I know you can taste. So stay in your lane and abstain, refrain from the goose chase. Behave yourselves, please. Don't get spirit mace and still catch a case. That's a solid waste. Your task will be behind you and you'll be feeling base because you're back on the baseline and your posture will be an incline and your thoughts will show signs that you are blind. All this time, still committing crime. This is reality, not just some nursery rhyme. This is dedicated for all repeated offenders doing time who wish they had extinguished from a life of crime. Ostracism ain't nice. It feels like I don't exist in the world. I want to be free. I even envy the birds. I want to go on a beach, blow a kiss to a girl. Being ignored is getting on my nerves. Prison ain't nice, shouldn't exist in the world. So kids, please go to school, graduate, look at work. Framed in unruly business, not sweet like this earth. Makes you feel like your life has no worth on the earth. That's why I inhale, exhale, shake my head, and look up at the clouds. So rise and have big dreams. No matter how rough life seems, with dignity and self-esteem, you definitely have a team. So keep your wishes. Don't let them break like dishes. Optimism is the key to your ambition that will ignite your engine and keep you focused on the road to your destination. Thank you so much, Mr. McKelly. Our next performer, it's so sad, we're getting to, I guess, the last of our performances for the judges, of course. Our next performer is Mr. Jerry Martin. Let's see what he has in store for us this time around. Yeah, yeah, family. You know when I chop this sign, this means VI, Virgin Islands for life, no matter what, right? VI strong, VI proud. B V I. Namaste. Namaste, you don't know. Yeah, well, um, before I start this piece, I would like to point on record that my last piece was actually dedicated to the 21 unruly savages <laughs> that went to St. Lucia and came back safely to our families and our loved ones. Can't forget the 21 of you all. And this second piece could be to all you too, because at the end of the day, we all were down there living in love regardless to our circumstances or situations, whether we were cool or we weren't cool or what the deal was. But you know where we go. I had to keep it real. 100, 700. This piece name, Love is the greatest, because that's all I got, love. Here we go. Love is the greatest, breaking through borders, barriers, then surface. It can make you happy. It can also make you black and blue. Love can make you sad, but love is always true. Sometimes it brings you pain. With love, so ultimate, so much to gain. Love could bring you life. It can also bring you death. Love can take ones to the highest heights and take you to the lowest depths. So when you say you love, just make sure you mean it. Because when you say you love, it has so many feelings. It is a word that has its yin and yang. Trust me, two boards in a bush is not better than one board in your hand. So when you say you love, just make sure you know. Because when you miss love, you really truly feel it. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Martin. And our final performer this evening, at least I say for the judging segment, is Mr. Jomari Hart. So let's hear it from Mr. Hart, please. Um, this piece is um, titled Looking Back. The reason I name it Looking Back is because I went through a little rough time living with my mother. I mean, it may be fresh now, that because that would have passed. Looking back. Growing up wasn't easy. I had it kind of hard. Four of us on one bed, and sometimes we starve. 
No food for days. No food for weeks. Don't talk about the bills, the rent, the boat was steep. So many times without current. Oh yeah, no current. Following the chores list on the fridge but came Friday, no allowance. Every day was depressing, even on bought days. Expecting something but got nothing, if you ask me, those were the worst days. Even though things were hard, my mother tried her best. There's four of us, and I'm the oldest. So many times we went to school penniless. No food, so I had to gamble inside the bathroom lunchtime just to ensure I feed my brother them. Wait, hey look, that's five dollars a man. That's a lemonade at Johnny Cake or a pizza from Brulee's food stand. Oh heck, that's the bell. Now it's time to get to class. Never paid attention in, never had changed to, but I always thought I was smart. So many times we went to the grocery store with just 20 bucks. Had a long list, couldn't afford everything. So we had to five finger discount stuff. By five finger discount, I meant thief, steal, and rob. Out of them so many times. A lady called us one time, and all she did was nod. So many times, I prayed for better days. Had to cry myself to sleep right after bed. So many times, my mother woke up in the middle of the night crying, saying she couldn't feed us. But what we could have do? We did tell people, and nobody believed us. But anyways, I was only looking back on a few memories. Time to pour my shoes, because I have a bright future ahead of me. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that takes care of the performances, but that is, of course, not all you're going to be treated to this afternoon. The judges have a difficult task ahead of them, and while they're tallying their scores, we're going to have Mr. Omari Winter to share with us, I think, in song. In that Sell my life to the streets, chasing after these bands. Yeah, that life a reaper, I end up right in the can. Living a life of crime, selling nickels and dimes. Fall in love with a 40, I carry her all the time. Moving fast with the life, asking God for a sign. Yeah, the dark real, but we doing it for the shine. Hands behind my head, sheriff reading me right. Only God knows what can really happen tonight. And if I take her for the sight, that's only starting a fight. Right on my life, now I really feel like I blight. Jazz of a cell, I feel in a jail bike. Man, I smoking up the wrong, I seen it on the right. Walking, trying to get to the top, but then I fell off. Stuck on the corner with packs, I try and sell off. My homie graduated from school, yeah, he well off. So don't try to ride with the game, so get the hell off. Raising the project or slum, ain't really fun. People don't know how to read, but how to wheel a gun. Yeah, they fall in love with the streets, we dying really young. Every day I pray to the Lord, I ain't another one. How I really feel in time, I gon' be free, I gon' forget about people they done, forget about me. How I really feel in time, you going to see I going to come out to be everything I want it to be How I really feel in time, I going to be free I going to come out to be everything I want it to be How I really feel in time, you going to see I going to forget about people they done, forget about me Fall in love with the paper, fall in love with the game Be a friend to a hater, be a slave to the fame Put your trust in a traitor, everything in the same Everybody going to love you till you end up in them chains Do the right thing don't become a victim and up like me in the jail fighting the system can't sleep at night i rocking turning and twisting this one for the soldier like me i hope you listen bound with a talent to write i had to use it struggle coming message see if the clues fit yeah it was messed up they were ain't no vibe you know what i mean in time i gonna be free i going forget about people they don't forget about me how I really feel in time, you going to see I going to come out to be everything I want it to be Yeah, that's how I feel about this life, you know what I mean? We are doing time, check, try to change our life, you know what I mean? Watch how we watch things, you know what I mean? And communicate, so socialize with people, you know what I mean? Change our life and do it for the best. Thanks. We have two performances. Um, the first of them is by uh, Mrs. Annie White. Is she here with us? Ah, here she comes. So let's hear it from Mrs. White, please, as she's here to perform as well, to share her art with us this afternoon. A rough audience to follow. <laughs> Go ahead. Good evening, everyone. This poem is dedicated to the inmates of Her Majesty's Prison, especially the participants this evening. And this poem is entitled, Seize the Day. Seize the day. Don't you ever quit. Capture the day 
and make it a habit. For life's journey, though tough, is a lesson that will lead you right once you listen. So get up now and find that key that will open the door and make you an honoree. Seize the day or it will hit you with a ton of bricks. Sharpen your brain and make it tick, tick, tick. Strive to be the head and not the tail, for your loving Savior will never fail. Look to Jesus, who on the cross once cried, and receive the great prize for which he died. Seize the day, uplift your spirit with songs and poems and beautiful lyrics. Read a book and the Bible every day. And watch what happens every time you pray. Dream dreams that will renovate, elevate, and celebrate. Not those that will frustrate, stagnate, and depreciate. Today, your efforts you put all out. You made us laugh, clapped, and danced all about. So with pride, we say, thank you. Jehovah God, our Father, for transforming the lives of our sons and daughters who, with courage and creativity, rejected captivity and transcended negativity only because you helped them to seize the day. I thank you. Tom. Our next performer is Dr. Natalia Wheatley. Perhaps he can come and share, us, share with us as well. I would like to thank those who made it possible for me to come here. I've been given the tremendous opportunity to be able to come and have poetry sessions with the inmates. And that's something that I value greatly. I was up here for... Uh, a few months ago uh, with the H. Laverty Stout Community College. Uh, Dr. Jarecki uh, provided some, some funds so that we could come up here and to, to have different classes like business and uh, life skills and things like that. And I, get, I, w I had the opportunity to do some poetry. And that program finished. And you know, it was very short, and I wanted to find a way to come back up here to the prison and continue uh, the work that we were doing, the, the great work that we were doing. And um, I said to myself, for a few weeks, I have to write a letter to the superintendent, and I just couldn't get around to it. And out of the blue, um, Brother Walter Barrett, Barrett called me and invited me uh, without me prompting, invited me to come to the prison to help to prepare the inmates for this day. And I saw that really as something that the Most High allowed, uh, put me in the position to, to, to experience because, you know, I wanted to and the opportunity just uh, came before me. And I believe in the power of poetry to be able to transform lives, to be able to allow persons to express their emotions, um, their frustrations, their aspirations, you know, all, all the different feelings they feel, especially um, being incarcerated. You have to have lots of different feelings that you have to share. And I believe in the power of poetry, poetry in rehabilitation. So, and I, I thank you for the opportunity uh, to come and share with you. Uh, when I witness the brilliance, when I witness the, the gifts that you have, when I witness the positive, positivity and the tremendous optimism, it's a real testimony for me. And I, I appreciate the time that I've been able to spend up here. I'm going to do two pieces, uh, if the chairperson would in, indulge me. The first piece, actually, um, I did for the inmates, and I, I had no intention of doing it today because I know I'd probably mash on a few cons, but through their instruction, they say you have to do that one. 
So this one is called to gain the whole world. To gain the whole world, but to lose our soul. We profit nothing if the truth be told. We're on the road to destruction on cruise control. Running like fools in pursuit of gold, the youth are cold. But who molds the youth? The old. We turn our back on the food that we grew and sold. We send our children to school and soon they grow to wear shiny shoes, fancy suits and clothes. Turned up our nose because farming land was a hassle. A pointless battle too, heavy to handle. For too long our people have been saddled like camels. And now we want progress so stress can be cancelled. Our families traveled and managed to sample the big city life. Sat in Babylon's castles in, ticed by the bright lights. Razzled and dazzled these pimps convinced us to mimic their example. Our mission to advance, build a tower of Babel. Disregard our past and abandon our cattle. We didn't realize we reapplied chains on our ass. In time, our morality began to unravel. Our values were trampled. We ran from our culture, our fishing, boat building, our agriculture. Now we forced to import to satisfy hunger. Disease is increasing. Why, I wonder. The sun shines year round, an endless summer. White sand and water with that light blue color, a great spot for lovers to cuddle with each other. Tourism seems the best decision at this juncture, but we need investment in hotel structures so our visitors could slumber in comfort. And that's where we attracted these capitalist monsters. Our lands were attacked by a pack of vultures. Preaching tourism, nothing more than tourism, where we build hotels where the poor can fold linen. We sold our souls for a few gold shillings. They know not what they do, Lord, forgive them. Tired of commercials with girls and boys singing when loved by Bob Marley, they color blind and grinning like everything is iry and life is fulfilling. The ads seem cute, the truth is so different. Women go stripping to feed their poor children. They're picking up the sufferers and stuffing them in prison. Every other minute it's a robbery or killing and well-known villains control the whole system. And where there's no vision, the people perish. My generation has no land to inherit. We used to get it from our parents, but now just forget it at the drop of the dime, the blind ready to sell it. To any foreign fella who intends to develop. Noah Lloyd said it, yes, his words were prophetic, but injected by medics to discredit his message. And these selfish politicians that civilians elected. Facilitate the theft for a little percentage and it's really pathetic. We slaves in our own land treated like peasants. Not lords in our own land, we really just tenants. Our people throw away what we really should cherish. The banks are the menace when they foreclose on your homes because the interest on your loans is absolutely local when Lord knows I feel stress. Every day I see theft. They're selling out the coast. Soon we, don't, we won't have no beach left. I sit and reflect on the negative effects of how we have regressed. I really need t Kleenex. No secret that teen sex during school recess. They deep test discipline, they lack in and respect. The BVI high school used to be diseaseless, but now each teen needs a HIV test. And needless to say, this place is in a real mess. Needless to say, this place is in a real mess. Each step we take is like a turn for the worse. Yes, it really hurts. It's like we stuck in reverse. It's like it's forward never and backwards ever. We elect a set of fellas, but it never gets better. We think we're clever, but we lack the facts. We're on the wrong track, black, and we have to turn back. We think we're clever, but we lack the facts. We're on the wrong track, black, and we have to turn back. Thank you for that. The next one is called transformation. I challenged the participants in the poetry program to write a, a poem about transformation. And um, since I gave them the assignment, I decided to write a poem myself. But the students have surpassed the teacher because they memorized theirs and I haven't memorized mine. So this one is called transformation. When these demon decepticons try to conquer us, 
no problem just transform like to must. Like Clark Kent in a phone booth trying to save Metropolis. Like caterpillars in cocoons, my, my butterfly is marvelous. It's a hard knock life, so stop knocking us. Single moms brought us up, no fathers who could bond with us. Role models were anonymous, wallets were not strong enough. Could barely eat a proper lunch, life we call it hard and rough. We dream of riches, cause we wanna buy a lot of stuff. Walking through expensive stores, we feel the strongest lust. Love for luxuries, it seems to me they're all a must. We worship money, that's why the dollar says in God we trust. Teachers hardly paid us compliments. We wondered what was wrong with us. We lost all our confidence. They won't acknowledge all our gifts, not to mention leaders and all their broken promises. For wrongdoers know I'm not an apologist, but the poverty crime correlation is obvious. Check Ambush in the Night, one of Bob Marley's hits. He said that they starve you through the strategy of politics. And your enemies, your brother, when the hunger starts to bother us. I said, your enemies, your brother, when the hunger starts to bother us. And your enemies, your brother, when the hunger starts to bother us. Let's break the cycle. Just let God talk to us. Give him all your trust. He can be your psychologist. A diamond in the rush. Oh, just watch him polish us. No matter how you started, you can finish strong and call it clutch. When these demon Decepticons try to conquer us, no problem, just transform like Optimus. Like Clark Kent in a phone booth trying to save Metropolis. Like caterpillars in cocoons, my butterfly is marvelous. My butterfly is marvelous. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Wheatley, for the two pieces that you shared with us this afternoon. Um, our next performer is Mr. Andrew Milton. I believe he has one more piece that he wishes to share with us. Well done. So remember to come put a little ice in the cake. You see that poem I'm doing right now? It dedicated for some real youth within Balls of God right now. Like Soupy, Aja, S. Lion. We are expatriated. We ain't from here. We come here, but we got to be strong and be bold, right? To endure or to survive around them places, you understand? So the, the poem that I'm doing right now is entitled, I am bold, right? And the reason why I am bold is because the challenges in our life we face and we still overcome them, right? Yeah, I am bold. I was born with the courage as a Jamaican. In the street of Maypen, where we fight as a nation, it's very hard to live up to your expectations. Surrounded by senseless violence, Humiliated by deadly silence. Betrayed by friends you think would be there to the end. Overpowered with poverty, but still we see no help, not even from charity. So I was designed to incline and forced to fight for what's mine. I'm still on the hill where I climb. Deep down from the valley, with no plan to decline. So no matter how many times I fail to reach my shine, I will never stop trying. Because I'm bold. As bold as a lion, who confront my tribulations even at the size of a giant. I give no complaint because from it, I will never live to obtain. They say only the strong will survive. So if I was weak, how could I stay alive when life itself is real to battlefield? With soldiers of envy, soldiers of deceit, haters, frustration, stress, even an army of the press, confusions from even the one we elect. But still, I give no fear to my rival because I'm bold. Bold enough to accept when I'm wrong. Bold enough to give my challenge to anyone. Bold enough to be defeated and still regain the victory in my hand. Bold enough to stand before the judges and the hardens and deliver my poem or even a song. Because I'm bold, I defend myself with the right choice and not with my hands. Deleting my ego while my hunger was banned. I observed and I speak, training myself to be careful before I release. Some say that's weak, but if you reach before your time, how could you find what you seek? And for me, that's real. Giving up was never an option. And my priority never waits on the next man's instruction. Because my obligation is my dedication and the strength of my faith will prove my elevation because I'm bold. Thank you very much. Uh, I will next call on Mr. McKelly to bless us, I think, for the last time. I see it, the poem title here is Musical Therapy. 
Will it be music? He will bless us in song this time. Let's see what Mr. McKelly has in store for us. Where the hearts are hollow. If you fail to try, you have already died. People, yeah. open up your eyes. Remember, hey yo, the limit is the sky. Hey yo. This is how we do it. This is where I belong. I belong from long. I'm be dexterous, drumming on a frying pan. Multitasking, have my depictions going on. Call me to see a sticker addicted. Cause you might got to call the paramedics to remove me from the attic. After the static, the trill, automatic. My neighbors used to snare me like some six. I was never amused by antics. I know it sounds ironic, so let's pass that fast like Sonic. Look out before you hit. Like the Titanic. Titanic, holy mother, that ice ball was gigantic, Atlantic, oh God, I hope I'm still on the planet, cause I don't spit, I vomit, and, and then, then drink, living tonic, tonic, and then repeat all along, writing songs, when I in the den, I grab my pen, oh, all day long, making music, it's my song, making music, don't misconstrue it, hey, yo. this is how we do it, this is where I belong, I belong from long. Music I prolong, if it was contraband, I would face every man. It's not a crime, so I ride the rhythm, show it no pity. My girl laughed and said, boy, you so silly. silly. Music all night long, it's just getting started when she take off that tongue. Telling me pull up, turn up the song, ignite, transpire in the music. Don't confuse it, now go on and dance, dance with, with the, the music. music. It's part of my attire, not just to burn vampire. Yeah. Some say envy, but I die some fair is the reason why them want to my children from air to air. Cause them realize I'm no longer living in despair and God's blessings is the precious jewels that I wear. Despise the like flies, because I disregarded their lies. They even scared to look me in the eyes. Now I let the music open doors like open sesame. Hey, Watch me. Yeah, all day long. All day long. Can't do it. Hey, yo. This is how we do it. This is where I belong. I belong from long. All day long. All day long. Making music. It's my soul. Don't misconstrue it. Hey, yo. This is how we do it. This is where I belong. I belong from long. Night transpire in the music. Don't confuse it. Now go on and clap Dance for, for the, the music. music. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Well, I want to go ahead and say good afternoon. You only hear from me. You don't really hear from me yet. But good afternoon. I'm Ramon George. And that's his man's first song ever. He, he actually, <laughs> that's just Roy McKelly's first song, you know. And impressive. And I got to acknowledge it because when he come to me with it, with the material, um, I hear what he bring and... Normally, I have to change everything. I have to change nothing. So this man, I really applaud. And give him another round of applause, guys. Oh, he pulled it up. So enjoy the rest of the evening. Just, let's have a round of applause for Mr. George, because he wasn't, I think he shared the territorial song with Miss Hanley. But you would have noticed that he participated in all of the musical endeavors. And for that, he really should be applauded um, as a performer as well in his own right. All right, our next musical performer is Mr. Junior Bradford Prince. So let's see what Mr. Prince has in store for us. I'm grateful for the opportunity to share the stage with all these talented brothers, you know what I mean? Here to entertain. And this song that I'm about to sing, I wrote it uh, about a month and a half after Armour. And. Um, Again, I want to big up Ramon, my brother, the talented. All the music that was played for the songs, except to the, well, you know, the anthem, <laughs> was um, arranged and set up by Ramon, you know? So I wrote this song on a different rhythm, but we're going to do it on some original thing right now, you know? This one called Words from My Diary. Blacksmith Beats. Bo -bo 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 -bo. Yeah. 
special dedicated to Mr. Gad, you know, he loved this song. Words from my diary, the most I had inspired me to bring to you. Truths and reality about this society that's facing calamity in need of some charity. Words from my diary, the most I had inspired me to bring to you. Truths and reality about this society that's full of insanity needing love. Imagine rich and poor on this earth are the same man But because of status in society some think them are the bigger ones Ruling up the little ones who build up them cities and foundation through lack of Love for them brother, them killing one another trying to gain the world Them lose them own soul, way out of control They forget about the most high, these things I sight and behold Upon earth, just send some disaster, upon heathen and pastor to let them know he rules over all. No matter if you're big or you're small, upon your name you have to call. It's not about your accomplishment, status or your wealth is the way you treat mankind. The words that are sent straight through my mouth like a vent. Innocent or guilty, we must face the judgment. So you better take heed. Cut down your speed, get rid of greed Heads of government Are your possession in the fire argument It's a few words from my diary The most I has inspired me to bring to you Truths and reality about this society That's full of insanity Needing love for humanity Words from my diary, the most I has inspired me to bring to you truths and reality about this society that's facing calamity in need of some charity. Message from your Hushawa through Hurricane Oma. Some still no see the sign, eyes full of glaucoma. Some people don't have no home, some lose them life, so I man a moan. To see how unity and love so far from some people's mind Their love for vanity and money, them can't leave it behind Price of food and gas, it dip on the rise Oh my people, you feel open up your eyes and look to the king His light a shine bright from reality and uprightness Please don't lose sight, situation heavy, some I take it light In the need of unity, mankind still a fight Overthink of the past, how long will it last? These are the questions where I'm gonna ask. We need some answers and we need them fast. Cause in my ears, me still I hear the wind blast. Through the words of my diary, the most I has inspired me to bring to you. Truths and reality about this society that full of insanity, needing love for humanity. Just a few words from my diary, the most I has inspired me to bring to you Truths and reality about this society that's facing calamity in need of some charity We need more love, yeah Oh, 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 yeah Hey, we need more love Whoa, whoa, whoa Words Words Whoa, oh, yeah. yeah man, blessed love We give thanks for each and every one that you came out <laughs> Alright, so We've come on to the decision making part of our program I don't know which of the lovely young ladies is our chief judge But whoever our chief judge is Should come and share her remarks And then we'll have our announcement of the winners And the presentation of any awards I see Ms. DeCastro coming, so let's hear it from Ms. DeCastro, please. I mean, the smile on my face, I can't, I can't stop smiling. My cheeks literally hurt um, just because of the amazing talent displayed here today. I mean, just give, give the guys a round of applause. Tremendous, tremendous, tremendous. Oh, God. Um, the boy requesting... One of my shortest one. I'll just do a little piece of the one that came to mind when you guys were performing. Right? Um, it's called Lessons Learned. I did not take a magic school bus to get here. I walked. Sometimes in fear of reaching late. 
not knowing when my final date would be. So I put on my backpack of grace and mercy to carry me through. I stand here today, having passed some tests and failed others. After listening to the whispers of the enemy who said, cheat or repeat. So in defeat, I sinned, got back the activity, looked in the mirror and saw red ink marks written all over the blackboard, my body, Xing out the mistakes of my flesh. I began to question myself. What if God takes out his great book of life and records all the things that I did not get right with a permanent marker? But I read my textbook, my Bible, and found the answer. I would be a complete failure. If God did not send his eraser, his savior, whose blood when sprayed on my life became my liquid cleaner, I became spotless because of his forgiveness. It was then that I solved the equation. One man named Jesus minus sin divided by death plus three days in the tomb multiplied by the Holy Spirit to the infinite power equals salvation. I am a new creation. I'll stop there. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks so much. I mean, as an educator and a poet by passion, I'm just truly inspired. I think this by far is one of the best days of 2018, considering what we've been through last year. Just absolutely amazing. So on behalf of the judges, it was a difficult decision. Every poet today is a winner. So please, yes, we have to do our first, second, and our third. But in our book, if we could have given everyone first, we would have. Um, I want to send out a challenge, though, to the ladies. I didn't see any female poets up here. So next time when we come out, I challenge you guys to come up and express yourselves as well. So the, the scoring was close. One of them, we could admit, was even placed by a point zero one, literally. Uh, so it was, it was a close competition. I'm going to have them come up and actually list out the four second and third. But from the judges' perspective, we just want to say thank you, guys. Keep doing what you're doing, and you're truly an inspiration. We have some gifts or tokens that we want to give to all of the participants that took place this afternoon because as you heard just a while ago, everybody is a winner. Um, Mr. Royden Sebastian. Jerry Martin. Jamari Hart. Wait. So Jezre McKelly. It's uh, Andrew Milton. And for now, it's just the poets who took part in the competition. <laughs> Mr. Devon Brown. And Mr. Ronaldo Hewlett. Let me take it a cappella. Okay. Nimble me, nimble me, nimble and quick. Go tell them all of them, me say how they do it. Nimble me, nimble me, nimble and quick. Go tell them all of them, me say how fit do it. Jam and me nimble, Jaja know me simple. Never did I am on a two foot table. To all of the massive, I'm gonna set an example. I'm Vinipi, the massive impossible. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, Mr. Masters of Ceremony. Mr. Thompson, I would like you to take the stage with me this afternoon. Very important. I think it was two months ago, I remembered receiving a particular email from Mr. Thompson. That time we knew nothing of each other. And in the email he said, Mr. God, I think we could use as a good rehabilitative strategy poems within 
the facility. Can you make it happen? And to that, I argue West. And that is why we are, are here to, today, ladies and gentlemen. Round of applause for Mr. Thompson. Now I want everybody, cut the music for me please. I want everybody in restraints, because I'm not sure how the judging might sit this afternoon. S-O-R-T, prepare the riot gear, because the judges might be in trouble. We have here, at first place, we <laughs> you all are paying attention, right? Good. So we have her at third place with a check of $50 to be placed on the property of that inmate. Again, my personal favorite, Mr. Andrew Milton. Thanks a lot. Judges, you all all right? You sure? We have here at second place. No other than Mr. Jessroy McKelly. He has a check for $100. Smile for the camera. All right. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm stunned. I'm stunned at the entire competition because it really surpassed my expectations. I did not realize that the three weeks we had for practice would have culminated in such a masterful performance from everybody here this afternoon. Congratulations to all the poets. Before I go further, I just want to give a big round of applause for the staff of Her Majesty's Prisons. Without them, this would not be possible. The winner is an individual that or whom I ordered. I said, pick up your pen and write me two poems and win the competition. He said, Mr. Gad, I've never written a poem before. I don't even know what's a poem. I said to him, Relax, take the advice, and you will win, my brother. Mr. Jamari Hart. I'll give you a hug. You have to see your first poem over. You have to see your first poem over. I'm, I almost went beyond myself here. <laughs> Actually, he's the proud winner of the, and it's no longer superintendent, it's director. He's the proud winner of the director's diary. Transformation, transforming, transformation, I'm transformed. The change came before me and still it's beyond. Everything and everyone as so it seems, I was creased up and crumpled, now straightened without the iron and the steam. My bad ways are behind me, there's no looking back. I'm floorboarding a pedal like I'm in a car on a racetrack, 
Even people you see transforming using you to catch a float, those are the people sinking your ships to build up their own boat. No more worrying about my past, because it's over now. Having walked the streets of Goliath, but God has secured my crown. It's been worse. It was bad. Already better. Now at my best. This transformation feel great. I'm a king. No King Kong, but I'll beat at my chest. This transformation is a big change and a step far, but I'll still watch my step. There's no sleeping on this transformation, because I've already slept. It's like me playing a game of chess, sending out the pawns for a sacrifice where me, the king, I invest. It's transformation, already transformed. There's no more transforming. Whatever happened next with this transformation, like poker, I'll go all in. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for your presence here. I think we owe the inmates all a, a, a depth of gratitude for allowing us to participate in this literary event. I hope that we will have many more events of this nature to come. I really hope that this can be an annual event and that other inmates, both male and female, will be inspired to share their personal stories and experiences with us. Uh, I omitted, at the start I said, forgive me if I made a mistake, I omitted to call back Mr. Royden Sebastian, who had one piece that he wished to share with us. The title I is Trouble. A close friend of mine told me to name it Trouble Trouble. <laughs> Thinking back on all this trouble I've been into my life, I wrote this one. Oh, Mary, I love you. Trouble. You see trouble? Trouble is a very terrible thing. And trouble ain't nice. Get mixed up with the wrong companion, and it can mess up your whole life. What the friends and the company you keep, trouble is very expensive, and it don't come cheap. It comes in different phase, size, shade, no exception for the face. So don't you live your life recklessly. Don't you live your life like a race. Cause you could crash up in a predicament like me and catch yourself a major case. Trouble seems to like my company. Trouble seems to like my space. Keeping a close eye upon my enemy with this thing upon my waist. God knows I don't want any more trouble in my life. God knows that I pray. But when the enemy decide to rise against me, God knows I won't hesitate to spray. What goes up must come down. What goes around must come around. Never you tight, they take life for a clown. The youths in the streets are getting colder and baller. Some walk with a full clip, some walk with a chip on the shoulder. So don't you ask me why I have this thing on my waist. Cause teenagers today are busting like there's no time to waste. My favorite rapper once said to me, the rain seems like it won't let up. But I try to keep my head up and stay from getting wet up. Trouble is a very easy thing to get into, but very hard to get out. Words from my mother, without a doubt. I wish I listened to my mom's words, then I wouldn't have to be locked down like a ball. Some people say life is a bitch. I say life is really what you make it. Because if man can't make the rules, then only man can go break it. I really regret my past life. And I think it's time to face it. The shame and stress I caused my loved one, enough sorry could replace it. I must omit earlier when I gave the welcome, I referred to my director as Mr. Vaughn on guard. I apologize, sir. Mr. Vaughn God. The vote of thanks this evening. It is not often that inmates are privileged to have the support that they have received today. Though the first literacy evening hosted at Her Majesty's prison, we have seen the breakdown of stereotypes and the building up of many hands coming together to make rehabilitation more than words, but an act. On behalf of the director of prison, Mr. Vernegard, the staff, inmates, and especially the participants in today's program, I want to express a heartfelt thank you to all who took the time to be a part of what promises to be an annual event. You have seen that we are more than just inmates. We are talent. We are skill. We are motivation. We are promise. Must take the time to especially thank a few persons who without them today would not have been as special as it was. 
First, Mr. and Mrs. Practice Patrick Thompson, who envisioned a poetry evening at Her Majesty's Prison and who hosted this evening's event. A round of applause, please. <laughs> Dr. Natalia Wheatley, who took the time to coach each of the participants that you heard today, every week leading up to today's event. Thank you, sir. A round of applause. Our esteemed judges, my, 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 my esteemed judges, without whom there would be no winner, I say thank you. <laughs> Submit Printing, who donated today's programs at no cost. Nadine at Magnific, Magnific Hair Excellence for sharing hair skills and ensuring our participants were as sharp as they were today. I thank you. <laughs> our participants for braving their fears and standing before you to perform what took courage and strength. You got talent. Great Vision Design, television for broadcasting live beyond our shores. We say thank you.